too many cows in the background. <laughs> Is this the recovery video? Yeah. I, uh, Janelle didn't know this was coming. <laughs> As so you can see, there's... We, uh, come over here last night, really just for vermin. Uh, they've been seeing rats in the silage and this is kind of the farm we are always at for rats and coons and whatever and uh got here spent what probably two hours here yeah at least brian shot a couple he was on the far side it's actually a family farm and he's on the the west side i was on this east side i only shot one rat in the in the barn but i was kind of walking around walked up to the peacock house and just wasn't seeing anything my knee's been bothering me and i'm like i called I find Brian, we had walkie talkies, but for some reason they weren't working. I walked all the way over there. I'm like, I think I'm going to get going. It was probably, I don't know, one o'clock, close. Yeah, I think it was one. So I walked over there. Well, as I'm getting over there, the coyotes light up to the east, and then there's an old abandoned school over here, and they're behind the school. So I'm like, I'm just going to go up here, and it's kind of tall silage at the back part of this pasture. I don't know if you want to show them. It's like lighter green back there like this right in there so you can't really see i could barely see a deer back there and uh cows were all up front here so i just came over here and just waited i don't know it was maybe half hour brian came over he wanted to get the walkie talkie from me before i left we had driven separate so we could charge it up so we come over here and we're just we're just bullshitting about the weather and whatever kind of waiting for them to come out. I'm like, man, they've, they've called from there and they've called from there. I'm like, one of them's got to come towards the other. At least that was my hope. Didn't Never got the collar out. I never even got my gun out. I had already had my PCP put away. Just kind of waiting on them. You got a little friend? I have a friend? Yeah, right. By your feet. Oh, the cat. <laughs> um, so, I thought I had a tick crawling on me. So anyway, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, we heard them light up one more time. And I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm really gonna go this time. I came up here to take one more look towards the back. Didn't see anything. I come back to this corner and I look and here they come, coming across the street. Right, right, right here. Literally right, right there. There's a the street. You know, tell the story, I'll just show them, show them on the camera. So yeah, so they come, I so Brian freezes where he's at, which is Come in here. Right about where he was. I was maybe 20 yards left here, right? Yeah, I was cars. standing uh, right here. So they come across. I I don't I I go to my truck, which was just right up here in front of the barn, get my 243 out, and remember now all the cows. There's probably 30 cows up oh, up yeah. in that on that east side of the pasture. Way back in here, all along here. And uh, so they come in. Now I'm pretty short. There's a lot more of these alpacas. Yeah, there was too. like 20 alpacas and llamas right here. I'm pretty short, so I'm trying to shoot from behind that gate. So I have to move like three times. The coyotes are coming right up. All the alpacas and llamas go right up to the coyotes. So now I got just, it was just a melee of everything in the way. Well, they ended up, they kind of cleared. The coyote stopped. So I shot. Well, at this point, now there's, there's two. When I saw them cross the road, I had only seen one. So now there's two of them out there and uh they stop and i shot the first one and i start following the second one and i see the first one come back into my frame well he was just having a last last run but it's so this it goes out gymnastics i don't know how i missed my second shot but i missed and it goes running out and brian's like it stopped and i'm like i know there's cows i'm like i'm not feeling this shot it ends up tootling around out out in front of the cows out like gets further up in front of the house and the barn while it's doing that, I move up over here. It comes all the way back in and around and ends up going way out. Well, there was, there was two deer in front of it and a water trough. But at this point now, all the llamas and alpacas had gone this way instead of just bobbing in front of my barrel, which was, was a very stressful. I, I was telling her when the animal, when the coyote stopped because she was moving around a little bit trying to get clear. Yeah, I'm trying so. and I'm, I'm in my thermal and I'm watching the coyote, but then I'm picking my head up to see where all these bobbing heads are of these llamas and alpacas because they're all freaking out because now I've shot basically you, over their backs. You probably twice. felt like I was rushing you but I was just trying to relay <laughs> yes, some information. information. So then it gets out further and he's I'm like okay those are two deer behind it I mean they were way behind it anyway but 
in a water trough. So Brian's like, okay, he growls or barks, it stops. And I'm again looking and it, I, I'm like, okay, it stopped. And I'm looking and I'm in the scope and then I'm looking for llamas and alpacas and then it moves again. And then he stops it again. And it goes a little further and I'm again, check, like just triple checking that I'm not gonna like smoke an alpaca in the neck or something stupid. Finally, I got it to stop one more time. I think Brian, you kind of thought I had given up on it. Yeah. Well, I was. I felt like I might have been pressuring you too, so I stopped. <laughs> let you do your thing. So then it, it stopped. I don't know. We stopped it like five different times, and finally I, I shot it and, and put it down. So again, now where there's 30 cows over here, I get into the llama and alpaca enclosure. They were freaking out. Five sheep go stampeding in front of me. Well, the hot wire was still on, so I'm like, you know what, we're just going to come back tomorrow. And thankfully, we just got here today. All the cattle are now way out back, so I got in there without without getting curiosity stampeded by the cattle because they do like to come check things out. So, yeah, so we got two, um, male and a female. Pull that one up so they can see its face. Good stuff. Good uh, job pulling it up to the it's not so pretty no but uh they're about the same size about the same age uh the female's actually bigger taller male. taller and, and yeah, longer longer legs yeah well, when they came up I, I thought they were pups and there's a ton of foxes around here so i was really like man i really got to make sure these are not foxes but brian was brian when i went to get my gun brian had really gotten a good look at them coming up from the road and, and coming back here and he was like no they're you're good to go so um yeah, it was fun. Fun night. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll be bringing you more material. We do have some um, footage from last week. We got some raccoons over at my in-laws. and yeah, it's more tonight. I shot two or Yeah, he two did or get a little bit of raccoon. luck last night. So should have a couple couple new videos coming out for you guys. But again, we appreciate the, the support, and we'll be in touch. Over coyote. Yeah, I don't like that shot though. I don't like that shot. Yeah. Too many cows in the background. Is it down? Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> 